Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today is Ramadan day 21. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are returning viewers, thank you for subscribing and returning. I am currently at my parents' place. It was a an emergency in the morning. My dad was not feeling well, so we had to rush here. But Alhamdulillah, he is doing not too well, but he's doing his normal right now. And we are just monitoring his health. So that's why I'm currently at my parents' and staying here until iftar. And then after that, we'll just go for tarawih. We had some other plans today. But uh, everything just halted to a pause because of that. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm currently at my parents' place. I'm still wearing yesterday's outfit because I didn't kind of think what I was wearing because of the emergency when my mom called. So I had to come to my, like rush to my parents' place to see how is my dad doing. And by the time I came here, he was like, you know coming his health was coming back to normal so i you know we just me and adib came checked up on him and you know at first we decided to take him to the er but uh we kind of realized since it's easter and then usually in sundays in uh, the er it's only residents not that many doctors are there so you are gonna end up staying in the hospital like more than 24 hours which is like very inconvenient unless of course, if you have an emergency, you go to the ER. So we kind of like sat down, talked to my dad and, you know, like checked his pressure and everything, like checked up on him and asked him like, is it, you know, ER related or are you just weak um, because of like the fasting and the taking like high dosage of medication? And we kind of like continuously like monitored him for like two hours in the morning and uh, he was fine. He seemed like everything was coming, you know, to normal. So uh, we kind of decided not to go to the ER and stay at home and monitor his health until uh, we can see his doctor on Tuesday. So hopefully that will be okay. Um, he had some other like health um, consequences in the past recently. So we had to be like really on the up on our toes with his symptoms whenever it shows up because we don't know when you know things like when his health like goes down also like he's been his health has been like um you know um not in a good position for the past like i want to say a year over a year and we had to like constantly monitor his health also like another thing is he gets sick like suddenly like there is no like symptoms there of course there's like the underlying symptoms but he gets sick all of a sudden and you have to take action all of a sudden i have been like when i was here i was kind of like aware about like what to do and what not to do whenever you know something happened because it was like on the instant but since i'm not here and my mom is like she like panics really quickly so you know it's like coming here and then you know talking to him about his symptoms and then making sure that is it you know is he can wait to go to the doctor or is it like an ear worthy or do we have to call the you know 911 so that's been happening since morning um i went so we went to the bank as i mentioned in the last vlog we went to the bank and the bank was closed um they close at two o'clock not um three and they close at two o'clock meaning like they close the doors of the bank but that doesn't mean that the tellers are going to be in the bank the tellers leave the bank i think like at 12 o'clock so technically we didn't get our work done we got like some part of it the other part adib is gonna work on it during the week and uh, after that i went home picked up some tarawi like my tarawi prayer uh uh, una, uh, so that I can just put it on when I go to Tarawi because I'm wearing like the same palazzo pants from yesterday which when I bend down it actually shows my back and I don't think that's kind of like modest like when I stand up it doesn't show the back because the shirt is as you can see it's like super loose and it's at the okay so I had to open the door okay so I was saying um, I was opening 
I was opening the door. That's why I had to like uh, take a break. But I went home and got some you know stuff, necessary stuff, and then I came back here. Now I'm just gonna stay here until iftar and then once we have iftar we're just gonna go for tarawih and head home so i'm not sure how much of a vlog it's gonna be uh due to like the current situation but uh, i'm gonna try to vlog as much as possible my brother is um treating me for iftar today so i wanted dave's chicken so i think he's gonna bring that hopefully and um yeah uh, I'll just try to like vlog the food and maybe a little bit of tarawi since I have the camera. I also want to mention that these are the last 10 days of Ramadan. So uh, if you have not picked up a small habit, you know, I would urge everyone to just pick up a small habit that you can implement these last 10 days and get the benefit of it. Even if it's, you know, reading a dua or doing dhikr or um, doing two rakats before your prayer. I don't know but these are the last 10 days that are the most beneficial these are the Laila Tulu Qadr uh, nights so make make a good use of, out of it we're all trying our best to be good you know this last 10 days and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of us and fulfill all of our duas How come you're the only one without a companion? Is happiness not your lot in life? How do you deal with loneliness and the fears that come with it? So my brother surprised me. Well, we had the Dave's chicken, but my brother surprised me with the cake. Oh, this is nice. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So my brother got me a cake, even though my dad is sick. Chatta ni bo na, am shabu ni he forgot to write my name, so that's they didn't a bummer. Want to. But I accept it. I accept yeah, it. Yeah, you had Easter on it. I made a rotic ninja. Because I do have chocolate craving at night. Oh, this is plastic. Oh, don't put that in. It's okay. okay. <coughs> it's okay. We are literally eating it, so it's okay. Don't do candles. Listen, listen, you're a woman. After 29, you just keep turning 29 again. No, 28. Oh, it's 28, sorry. Oh, acha. Do it. Also, eat it. <laughs> My brother got me a knife to cut the cake. Or murder me. This is a cutting cake. This is a chef's knife. Not a bread knife. Yes, we have that too now. Hey guys, if you're wondering how are the 30s, this is how are the 30s with two cats. Like, I don't even have a child. 28, number 4. Try, 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 try. It's good. Mmm. They were like elite class of those time. So it is post iftar time and eight thirty something. Again, you know, I think like because we're Bengali. <laughs> We can't get to places on time, but we're running late for Tarawi again. So I'm just putting this prayer orna, the Namajar orna, um, on top of my head. I'm not even wearing a headpiece because of like I didn't have caffeine today. 
So I will just wear this and then I'm gonna go pray Tarawi. Once I'm done praying Tarawi, I'll just come back and you know pack my stuff and go. I did bring my big bag which I carry with me. This one, which is like a big tote. And I carried like all the stuff in it. So now I have to like unpack it and pack it for the mushtid. And then once I come back, I have to repack it to go home. Also, I am taking half of the cake that my brother got me because the cake is really good. It's from Martha's uh, Bakery. And I think he got it like last minute. Not last minute. Like he, when he went, it was like a long line. So he like put the effort to get it. He almost got a ticket. So uh, that's how you know. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're just getting ready for Tarawi. Um and then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to wear my kufiya and shout out to my brother. Shout out to my brother. Shout out to my brother. What is he? Shout out to my brother. Okay, he left. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to wear my kufiya and then I'm going to take my um, namaj and then I'm going to wear my socksies. The only thing I'm leaving is my iPad. Uh, for those who don't know, I actually edit on my iPad. Look how cute is this case? It's my cat. Well, it's not my cats, but it's kitties and it reminds me of them whenever I'm traveling. I miss them. They're so cute. Mashallah. You know that. Like if you watch my videos, you know that they're they're my children. Uh so yeah, this is the this is my iPad mini. Um I do have plans to getting like the bigger one, the the one that's like you know the m5 chip i think but once i get monetized inshallah that's my goal like once i reach a certain subscriber and watch hours my goal is to buy the new ipad and uh replace this one because this one is does the job properly but it does slow me down and then it's not as fast as i expected it i do have a mac uh that is like 14 years old <laughs> and um i d used to have the adobe premiere pro with my old work since I left, I don't have the membership and I stopped like using the Mac because it is 12 years old and it does a lot of loud noises and editing over there, like something that's supposed to take me like an hour takes me like two, three hours because how slow it is. So I swapped to an iPad and it's been working. I take it everywhere with me whenever like I'm traveling so that I can edit on the spot and it's really fast. Like Alhamdulillah, this one is really good too. So if you're thinking of like starting or editing uh starting to uh edit and stuff i would recommend definitely trying out the ipads because they do work too so i'm gonna take my kufiya my socks i'm leaving my ipad and this thing and oh i also wanted to show this tazbi that i got it's like the smallest tazbi which is so cute and i i take it in the masjid because you know for dhikr and stuff and i also take a jainamas for the carpet and my favorite thing get rid not so favorite uh it's favorite because it saves my life when i'm fasting because i do get dehydrated really easily this used to be me and my sister's room and then it became my sister's room so we just say like sumaya's room because that's the last person to leave this room. And my brother is just, who is like unimagin um, unimaginably tall because his jeans are crooked. Uh, my jeans are good. Yeah, my jeans are good because that's why I'm like five. On a good day, I'm a five one. And <laughs> he's a little taller. Six because three. his jeans like skipped a generation, that's why. I got Dadaji's jeans. Who's is this? Mine. Well. Oh, I'm just, I wear it like usually as like a scarf. Let me see if I can sell this. Yeah, you can. It's really nice. That's not how you wear it though. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's, that's how you wear it. You can't even see his face because then you can't, you won't see my face. No, you can actually. I gotta put some Vaseline. I think my face is dry. This is how we wear it. Just vlog. Can you guys watch him for a second? This feels like when, uh, when your sister leaves their child with you and you don't know what to do and you try to be the cool uncle why is she cutting my head off what is this 
Tall people only. Gang, gang. Okay, what is this? Oh, shit. Fun to watch. Watch show, please. <laughs> My car almost died today. It decided that it's gonna not push enough power through no. the transmission. Hey. I'm being cornered. Are you vlogging? Okay, I'm gonna put some of that. No, I, I vlog for I vlog at thing. Sometimes at our our home. Yes. Well, I like, take videos like, of what they vlog. Ooh. Uh, that's mine. Please, I have dehyd severe dehydration. Did you see my ID photo? No, not. it's the worst. As if like I have gained twenty pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm get here. I'm living the life of moment. Yeah. No, this is the old one. Oh my god, that one is funny too. No, that one is good. The 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 glasses. Look at this one. Who's this? You you. Who's you're this? Going backwards. This looks like someone like Aww. photoshopped the glasses. You're right? On. Like this is Why really good. Why are the glasses good. so contrast? I don't I mean. know. I I told her I was like I need my glasses. She's like, "Mommy, please take off your glasses." I'm like, "Mommy, I need glasses." Whatever. Wait, wait, wait. Stand there, stand there, stand there, stand there. I can see. Uh. I know I'm short. You don't have to like no. put it that way. People don't believe me. That. People don't believe me when I say I have a brother. The only brother that I have is like, you know, way tall. They're like, but you're short. I'm like, yeah, I skipped generations with him. <coughs> I him. took the extra height. Yeah, because I'm the tallest <laughs> sister. I am the tallest sister, by the way. All the other sisters are like. You're downward. the second. You're taller than Abu, aren't you? Oh no, no. almost, almost. No. So we're heading to the masjid, and guess what, guys? We're even later than usual. <laughs> My mom is on the phone. She's still on the phone. And then we were waiting for someone. So, like, we're later than late. But people are still going. So, Alhamdulillah. And we're just walking. I'm going to show my mom in a few. Because she like. Acha, acha. Acha, So, guys, I was going to show my mom. It's my mom, beautiful mommy. <laughs> and my mommy and the dadu and me and the men are in the back because that's the rule.